What's up everybody, this is Omega Primus, and next month is the month we all get to finally enjoy PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. Me, personally, I'm just going to get the PlayStation 4 for now, and I am going to get four launch titles altogether for it. But I had to make some changes to one of my launch titles, or supposed launch titles, and that's Watch Dogs, because it got delayed until next year. So, I switched my pre-order over to Injustice Gods Among Us Ultimate Edition, which was the version I was waiting for this whole time. Because NetherRealm Studios released so much damn DLC content for that game, like extra characters and a bunch of costumes, and I was like, you know what? I'm not going to buy this game until the Game of the Year Edition comes out, and it's actually coming out, but in this case it's called the Ultimate Edition, and I'm so happy about that. But it's also going to be released for the PS3, PS Vita, Xbox, or no, uh, Xbox 360 actually, and the Nintendo Wii U. Oddly enough, the Xbox One is not getting it unless it got delayed for a later time for that console, which is kind of strange. Um, but anyways, yeah, I am still getting LEGO Marvel Super Heroes, Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag and Battlefield 4. Those games are all on reserve still. Uh, four games is all I need for now. I, I'm i not going to get Killzone. Infamous Second Son look cool, but that's not even a launch title. I think it's not. that's not coming out until February of 2014, I think. I could be wrong on that. And uh, I don't know. There are some other cool games coming out that I can't think of right now. Uh, for you sports fans out there, I know they're coming out with some cool sports games like NBA 2K14 and stuff like that, but for me, I'm just going to get four titles that are pretty much already going to be released on current gen consoles, so a whole lot of people are going to be done with those games way before I get them, and there's going to be tons of gameplay footage of those games before the next gen consoles come out, so it would be kind of pointless to record anything from my PS4, uh, and I probably won't be able to record anything from my PS4 anyways because I have the first generation HD PVR. I do not have the gaming edition which comes with the HDMI port. And I don't know if you noticed but the PVR, or, or not the PVR, but the uh, PS4 comes with the HDMI cord. So my PVR won't be able to record anything off of that. But there is that internal recording device on the PS4. Um, I guess I could possibly try to use that if it works good as I expect it to, but I do not know how well that thing is going to work out. You know, it could be total crap, and I probably won't upload any anything from that. Um, but hey, if it works good, then cool. You know, I'll edit some footage on my laptop and add some commentary to it and upload it to YouTube. Um, now, I was going to get the HD PVR Gaming Edition, but... I figure I would want to wait and see if they can come out with like a third version. Because we all know how technology works, you know, you buy something new, a few months later down the line they come out with a newer version of that thing that you just bought, so... <laughs> you know, like, I think with the Aver... Aver what's that other thing called? The Aver Media? Yeah, the Aver Media uh, capture card, they just released their second edition of that. And uh, that, that look thing looks pretty cool, but... That's kind of how I feel right now on the PVR. I want to wait and see if they're going to come out with a third version of that because I don't want to waste a lot of money on the gaming edition just yet. So, unfortunately, no PS4 footage coming from me for a long time until I could figure out something, uh, you know, figure, figure out and decide on, on what I want to do. But uh, anyways, yeah, I am excited for the PlayStation 4. Uh, I am excited for the launch titles that I'm getting, even though they're not true next-gen titles, but I don't care. I'm running really low on space on my PS3 anyway, so hey, 500 gigs on PS4, it works for me. And what else was I going to talk about? Uh, oh, and I did forget to mention some current-gen titles that are coming out that I am going to miss out on, like Batman Arkham Origins. I decided that I'm not going to buy that, uh, at least not now. Because every time I look at gameplay for that game, I'm like, eh, I already did all this in Arkham Asylum and Arkham City. I don't feel like doing all this again. <laughs> Not saying it's bad or anything. I'm sure it's an awesome game. And I usually never say no to Batman. But this time, I am saying no to Batman. Because I'm saving my pennies for next gen. Uh, South Park, Stick of Truth. That game looks really funny. I love South Park. But I'm going to miss out on that game as well. I'm going to wait until it gets cheaper. 
unfortunately. Um, let's see, any other good current gen games that are coming out? I know there's Call of Duty Ghost, but Call of Duty uh, Black Ops 2 was pretty much the last Call of Duty ever that I'm purchasing. Because <laughs> uh, actually, yeah, I did give it a break for a very long time, ever since Modern Warfare 2, I think. And then I returned to it on Black Ops 2, and I was like, huh, you know, nothing about this feels different. I mean, I love the single-player story, but as for multiplayer, it just pretty much feels the same, so I could care less for Call of Duty. Uh, I'm now into Battlefield, so I enjoy that a lot more, until I get tired of that, of course. <laughs> it depends how many Battlefields they come out with, but hey, whatever. And yeah, that's pretty much all I want to talk about in this vlog, that I made some changes to some games I'm getting for on launch day, and uh, I am excited for the PlayStation 4. And, uh, alright, I'll catch you guys until then. Peace.